Okay, we are here at Evergreen. And this is a circular driveway. Comes in here and then here. So off of this cul-de-sac here. And then there is that main road that kind of goes straight that way. I'll just kind of give you an idea of... We're gonna go in through the side garage. They haven't been uh, plowing or shoveling this out. They have that unlocked for me. A little she shed. So I'll give you kind of an idea of the neighborhood. Nice deck here. Nice big open yard. It's supposed to warm up tomorrow. I hope so. Nice covered porch again. There's a kind of main road. It dead ends back in here though, so it's going to be quiet. And you are going to have some views. So you've got Pioneer Peak. And then you have oh, a ton of peekaboo saw through this tree. There's twin peaks through here too. All right, let's go in wherever it's from. Nice big three-car garage again. Got some extra storage, another man door, some elevated storage, sink in the garage, heated, double hot water heaters, nice big furnace. Take my boots off here. All right. Some more a little mudroom storage area right in here off the garage and a little half bath. Nice tall ceilings. Another nice big kitchen with open concept. Nice big island. All four kids could definitely sit here as well. Corian, so the solid, surf solid surface countertops. Here's that deck off of the dining area. Then there's the driveway. Pantry, office area, then living family room. Ooh, and there's doors on this. So this would be, depending on how you guys do your setup, this would be a cool homeschool room. Because you can close this out with the doors. Close but tucked away. There's your... At least when it's cold, it is pretty. So here's your main actual entrance. And you've got the two-story foyer that loops around into the kitchen and formal dining. That is a huge formal dining room, too. You could use that as a homeschool room, too. There's a lot of room. Another under stair storage that's really big. This one's been on the market longer than the other one too, huh? Mm-hmm. 
doesn't surprise me just with the the style the location isn't bad but it's not the ranch is super popular because it is the closest commuting spot still staying in the valley but to anchorage okay the, so it's a little further farther out than just a tiny ranch. bit yeah probably another probably 10 minutes okay. because you wouldn't have to go through the back roads of the neighborhood that we went through you could just take fairview loop to hit to higher and then on higher onto the onto the highway all right this one just has like a little older of a style you know the white the lighter woods yeah right before the gray took over <laughs> gray everything This is a huge, let's just try to give you an idea of how big this upstairs is so far. So is this the master? Sort of. Lost the Okay, so Jack and Jill style, this bathroom does share, can share with the main area there. size closet. There's your views. This is an extra wide hallway too. This is cool. And there was that bathroom. Here's laundry. Good size laundry room. Huge upstairs family room. Hmm. You could put a sink here, so you could put Neat. It's plumbed for a sink. Uh, so that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. You could almost Airbnb this. <laughs> yeah. It has a balcony. The flooring is in really good shape, too. I'm not seeing any scratches or scuffs. Clearly did not have big dogs or anything. There's a little sun fading. You can tell where they had some rugs or furniture. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's really good condition. And there's your little balcony. Easily get furniture through this hallway. That's like eight feet wide. <laughs> it's a good size. The bedrooms in this one are bigger than the other ones. Yes, they are. They are huge, awesome. huge bedrooms. You could easily have, you could put all four kids in here. Two sets of bunk beds. You're good. Mm -hmm. Did you just check the closet out? Look how deep no, that no. is. Tons. I really want to know what's in that she shed, but I think it's locked. I don't remember 
sure the pictures of that or not. All right. Cool. Here's the water closet. And then Jack and Jill style here. Another really large bedroom. It's huge. It just keeps going. The closets are all nice size too. So now we come back out. And here's your master. Offered ceilings. Another nice large bathroom. Oh, separate toilet. I like to call those marriage savers. <laughs> Huge master closet here. This one doesn't really have like a, like a backyard, kind of like a side yard. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the front yard and driveway side. and then, so yeah. yeah. Not a private kind of backyard like you kind of envision, more of like, I always imagine this more like in the south where you're up on the, the hill a little bit and then just kind of out in the open. All right, I'm going to get this one uploaded too. We'll see you at the next one.